Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a deep cleaning of my fridge and freezer plus Dollar Tree organization. So like all of my organizational or decluttering or deep cleaning videos, I love to always start from the top and work my way down. And I also like to clear out the space just to kind of see what's going on, give it a good deep clean, and then place things back inside of wherever I am organizing by what I need, what I want, what I love, and if there's anything expired or I no longer need, I either donate it or throw it away. So that is what I'm doing here in my refrigerator. I'm basically taking out the first couple of shelves along with the shelves on the door. I didn't take all the items out just because I didn't want anything to get too warm while I'm cleaning it. So most of the time I usually clean my fridge and freezer, freezer out about every eight weeks and I do it towards the end of the month because I usually do a big grocery haul in the beginning of the month. However, this past summer months I lax on all of that so this fridge was in desperate need of a deep clean. So I'm using a multi-purpose cleaner and I am spraying it all in the inside of my refrigerator and my freezer as well to get away or to kill any germs and to give it a good cleaning from fingerprints, grime, and different smells. And the multi-purpose cleaner I'm using is from 7th generation and no this video is not sponsored but it's great because it's, it does kill all bacteria. So as you can see, I removed all the shelves and gave them a good wash in my kitchen sink. I did have to do that because there was a lot of food build up from spills and hopefully I stay on top of this um, more frequently. I do like to do it, like I said, spot clean it at the end of the month right before grocery shopping. I probably wait about every eight weeks or I deep clean it every eight weeks and it usually does not take as long as it did this time around. Today when I did this deep clean and organization on my refrigerator, it took me a little over an hour and normally it only takes me about 30 minutes. Here I am putting the items back in my refrigerator and as you can notice, I have a lot of condiments. Am I the only one that has so many condiments? And as I was going through them and putting them back in my refrigerator, I'm like, is there a way that I could downsize this so I'm not buying so many condiments? Please let me know in the comments if there is. Okay, so for the first Dollar Tree organization, I found this two-pack container and one, I'm using it to corral all of the packets that I get from fast food and carry out. And yes, I do use some of them like dressings and Red Hat. And the second one, I'm putting one fourth cup of baking soda inside it and placing it in the back of my refrigerator to eliminate odors.
So here I am basically cleaning out my produce drawers and my lunch meat slash cheese drawers. And this did take a little bit longer because there was a lot of food buildup that accumulated this during the summer months. So this next Dollar Tree container I found is an acrylic tray that I actually use to house onions. And this red Dollar Tree bin that I use to put all my citrus in, I did get from the Dollar Tree. I do believe they still have them, maybe not necessarily in this red color, but I do still use this frequently. Now moving on to the freezer. This I usually have to work pretty quickly just because everything is frozen and it is difficult to wipe down. Um, I know hot water helps with that a lot to get all of the debris out. But basically I'm removing everything from my freezer and this freezer is a hot mess. Um, my fridge and freezer is not my favorite. Please let me know in the comments below if you have a fridge freezer combo that you absolutely love and a brand. Um, I would like to get a new refrigerator, but I don't want to just buy anything. I want something that's functioning and beneficial for our family and I can keep organized very easily. I do like to arrange everything on my shelves and my freezer by liked items. For example, I like to put all of my proteins on one shelf, my vegetables on another, my fruit on another, and easy quick meals such as frozen entrees, fries, and things like that on another shelf. How do you guys organize your freezer and your refrigerator? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know how you do it just to see if I am doing it the most efficient way.
holy smokes on the debris that had accumulated in my freezer. There were a lot of like herbs. I do freeze some of my herbs. There was herb particles at the bottom of it, vegetable particles and things like that. So it was awesome to be able to clean that. I feel so good after I deep clean anything. Do you guys feel the same way? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Now I found this handy dandy caddy at the Dollar Tree and it'd be perfect for my condiments. So when we have burger night, I can just literally pull this condiment jar out, clean it out and put it right back in the fridge and I think it'll be very easy when company's over or just simply having a family dinner. Now as you can see, I'm working on the top of my refrigerator and I'm using a dry eraser for this that I do purchase at the Dollar Tree to give it a good cleaning on the top of the refrigerator and giving it a good wipe down and placing. I have chips in this basket and some supplements, protein powder that my husband likes and I'm using this Dollar Tree container to corral it. And here I am cleaning the front of the refrigerator and giving it a good wipe down. This refrigerator, as you can see, is white and my dry eraser does come in handy. And another Dollar Tree organizational bin that I found to corral all of my butter and cream cheese was perfect. So this last Dollar Tree item, which is actually something that you would corral like Q-tips and cotton balls, I'm using to store lunch meat and cheese in the drawer. So there you have it, a perfect Dollar Tree organization declutter of my fridge and freezer. If you enjoy these type of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any videos from me, remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys all real soon.